How's it going, my fellow inquisitorial agents? My name is Dagan, and welcome back to the Grimdark Future, the 41st Millennium. And today, I've got for you a veteran build. This is the first one on my channel, and this is my Shock Trooper uh, Plasma Gun Wielding Power Sword Slashing Voice of Command build, okay? Now, this Shock Trooper build that I call it is super good at clearing out hordes, taking care of those elite enemies like the crusher and the mauler super fast and, you're, and that's what you're going to be doing with this build you're going to be absolutely deleting enemies off the battlefield and that's the best part about it um, so let's go ahead without further ado and get right into our melee weapon of choice which is our mark six power sword and the reason we're using the power sword is that it can clear out a ton of enemies in just a few swings and that is with the power of the blessings power cycler and brutal momentum and with those two in a combo you're going to be doing some nutty things ultimately you're going to be taking out like a whole horde of enemies just on your own and you're going to be able to cleave through even armored enemies so black armored enemies you can cut through them like butter and, and this sword is really good for that now this sword is also really good for taking out elites and specialists. You can three-shot a mauler with this thing. You can even two-shot a crusher with um a, with some combos here on that I'll uh, show you as well. It's a really good sword. Now, if you do feel like uh, running, if you don't, you're not crazy about the power sword and you want another option, you could definitely run the chain sword with this build, and you'll do just fine as well. All right. Now, looking at our ranged weapon, we are running the MagnaCore Mark II Plasma Gun. This is the big, bad monster gun that destroys the enemies. And this is what you want to be using on it. Okay, so what you're looking at, as far as blessings go, is you're going to want to get hot so that way you get that 42.5% critical chance boost. Uh, if you get, if you can get the blessing to tier four, awesome go ahead and try to get that too. I'll always try to get the tier four. And then we're gonna run Shattering Impact to get that uh, stacks of brittleness on the enemies. Uh, that's a good solid debuff. It's gonna help you do more damage as well. So definitely recommend. As far as stats go for these weapons, uh, specifically the Plasma Gun, you want all the stats to be as high as possible. Uh, specifically these four, if you want, you can let uh, thermal resistance be kind of your dump stat per se, uh, but it it's also good to have it as high as possible as well. Uh, I kept this rule because it just had it it has gets hot on it. And I didn't have it unlocked yet, um, and then as well as the carapace armored enemies that rolled with that too. So it's a really solid gun, and I'm going to show you why here in just a bit. But let's continue on with looking at our curios. So for curios. Definitely run what you prefer. Uh, I Right now I have a bunch of health ones. I have two health ones and one stamina. I haven't had a whole lot of time to grind out for this character, um, but I need to, to get some new curios. But what I can tell you for 100% uh, for this build, you want combat ability regeneration on all three curios, and then as well as damage resistance gunners, okay, to... to to not get shredded up by those gunners, especially when you're trying to aim at them. Uh, you definitely want the damage resistance gunners, okay? Now, let's go on to the talent tree. So, we are going to get close order drill. We're also going to take long shot and exhilarating takedown on the left. Long shot is just free damage, so definitely recommend taking it. An exhilarating takedown is really nice with the plasma gun because you're pretty much always going to be aiming for the weak spot. So like the head, let's say, and if when you get that kill, you're going to get that 15% toughness regeneration and gain 10% damage reduction for eight seconds, and that stacks three times. Uh, and it procs a lot more than you would think with this build, so definitely recommend taking it. So going down from close order drill, we're going to go to confirmed kill again to replenish more toughness, help us stay alive. We got crack grenades, uh, super strong grenades right now. And we are going to take catch a breath for again more toughness generation, and then we've got survivalist. Uh, for ammo replenishment, we are going to go down and pick up kill zone for that extra 15% base range damage. Super nice for the plasma gun. 
and then we'll go down the middle, get Demolition Stockpile for replenishing our crack grenades. And then we got Voice of Command for, again, that toughness replenishment. This is a nice support ability for your teammates um, and will go a long way in helping out during the mission. So I definitely highly recommend taking Duty and Honor with your Voice of Command. Going to the left, you can, you're can you definitely going to want Precision Strikes for that extra 30% weak spot damage. Pick up Born Leader for, again, more toughness replenishment, tactical awareness, going down, picking up Iron Will for the Emperor, bring it down for that extra 20% damage to Augments and Monstrosities, and Rending Strikes. So you get plus 10% rending to all your weapons. Super nice perk. And then we're going to use Focus Target as our keystone. Where tagging an enemy applies, Focus Target stacks to them, causing them to take 4% additional damage for each stack. All right, now this is a really nice perk. And we are going to take Target down, again, for that replenish 5% toughness and 5% stamina. Now this build has a ton of survivability and with the plasma gun you're going to be doing so much damage. That's why I think it's good to balance it out with being really uh, capable of surviving throughout the mission. Take out enemies from long range and then if you have to go into close range you're still capable and you're going to pull out that power sword and, and clean things up. So you can do a lot with this build. Uh, if I could recommend any changes you could switch out target down for maybe redirect fire or focus fire whichever you prefer uh, you could also uh, maybe sacrifice exhilarating takedown if you'd want to uh, you can and grab something else if you like and same with maybe kill zone you could lose kill zone for something else as well uh, totally up to you now, i can tell you that this build is going to get uh, a buff with the next patch definitely uh, with them compressing the talent tree, they're, they're going to make an adjustment to the talent tree, and it seems like they're going to compress it and put maybe some talents in with other perks. Let's see how that goes. I'll definitely make a video if it does uh, you know, make a significant impact on this build. But right now, this build has been doing so well uh, in the runs that I've done in Orc Damnation and Regular Damnation that I think you guys will have a really great time running it. And, and let me show you what this thing can do. So... Well, taking a look at this crusher right now, we have uh, five stacks of focus targets. So I'm going to ping this guy. I'm just going to look at him, turn on my gun, and one shot him. So that's the beautiful thing of the plasma gun. Even if I look at this scab gunner, one shot. And that wasn't even a charge shot. And just same thing with this gunner. Oh, we've got like one HP left. And then this guy take him out really easily so it's 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 a really nice build you got the crack grenades to do do the damage and just take out a guy just like that but i want to show the power sword and what the power sword is capable of so with the power sword you do have this block attack this block stab it is really nice for armored enemies and particularly with this build and with this particular power sword setup that i have and just to show you again, these are the stats. Uh, and unfortunately, with the power sword, there is no dump stat. You want all of these as high as possible. So really try to get one uh, pretty much set up like this. And always try to get finesse and cleave damage as high as possible. Because those are your uh, direct affecting to your DPS. Okay. So we've got this crusher right here. And what we can do with the power sword... Is we can ping him, do the charge stab, and then two shot him with the strike down. So it does the block stab, block stab, and then immediately into strike down. Super strong, and you can two shot the crusher. Just to show you that it it doesn't two shot. It's a three shot uh, without uh, focus target. It's a three shot without focus target. So that's the build, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like down below. Also, leave a comment. 
and let me know what suggestions you have or what changes you've made uh, when running this build. There are a few adjustments you can make and still perform very well with this build. It's super tanky, does a ton of damage, really fun to use. It's been honestly quite hard to you know not want to play on my psyker but this has been an incredible change of pace and it just feels really good to just blast people away with the plasma gun um so i know you guys will enjoy it yourselves as well i do also think that with the next patch coming up i know that they are going to make some more adjustments to the veteran talent tree that this build could get even better and if it does i will definitely make a follow-up uh, on this build for sure um so thank you so much again for watching and i will see y'all when we return to the grim dark future in the 41st millennium see you guys